Bye guys, Bye from KA Brew News. Got one here from the Blue Mountain Barrel House. Wow. $6.99 for this one. Um, Mandolin, Arlington, Nelson County, uh, Virginia. Let's see, Blue Mountain Barrel House series. This is a triple, I guess. Deep Golden Beer. Uh, ooh, I don't know if there's anything else about it. I think it's just a triple, chapel, an artisanal ale. Um, I didn't know if it would be like some cool, like a brandy barrel aged triple, because I or a, or a bourbon barrel aged triple, because I know that they have the dark hollow and they have um, local species, and they have them in in uh, bourbon barrels, and I like those beers. Okay, no, uh, no hiss, no pop. Interesting. No hiss, no pop. No hiss, no pop. That's weird. I've never triple. No hiss, no pop. That's interesting. They said this has a little age on it, but interesting. I just, I just, that's like weird. Fire weird. Okay, look it up. Got some hot, you got like, I don't know what kind of, I wouldn't say hot haze, because I don't know if it's a very hot triple, but it's definitely hazy. Definitely has haze on Just mild, it actually looks like it has a viscous mouthfeel to the extent, just the way the soft bubbles are just kind of like moving in their own pace. They're not, definitely not over carbonated by any means. And that's not a bad thing. I don't really want to get bloated up right now anyway. But got the Duval glass here. Just uh, muted oranges coming through the glass. Really nice. Doesn't look bad at all. Just a, a, a broken up but soft, frothy head. Very small. Dissipating actually a little bit. Let's see what we got here. I don't even know the ABV. 9% alcohol by volume, 50 or oh, 34 IBUs. Um, let's see, Blue Mountain Barrel .com. I believe they're also on Facebook. Uh, so, hmm. okay, let's get into it. Uh, okay, I'm definitely getting a peppery note, spiciness, a little bit of uh, a, a wheat note, just soft, subtle grain, a little sweetness, a little earthy, a little, a little bit of a grassy hay almost in there. Yep, just a nice peppery spice going on. All right, let's give it a go. You know, I just, was, I'm still thrown off by the no carbonation thing, really, but, but it looks nice. Cheers. Tart lemon in there too. A little bit of just tart lemon zest in there, right in the back. You're getting real peppery note stuff. There's a little bit of that floral booze working its way through. It had an up and down moment to me. There's a little farmhouse action going on, a little wet hay in there. But not too bad. Um, definitely have a little banana tones working away. Banana, straw, soft caramel, cereal grain sweetness. A little bit of earthy spice in the end. Wow, this not having the carbonation that some do makes it really easy to just sip and enjoy and not be too bloated. I actually like the carbonation level of this. It's got a nice bordering full medium mouthfeel actually. It definitely has a medium one. It's borderlining almost a full medium because it's not getting broken up by that normal carbonation you would expect to have. Right now, these beers are sitting around 48 degrees. We've got that reach that time of year where the wood stove goes off, but yet it's not exactly warm out. It's a little bit of a dead tasting beer. I will have to say that it's a it's a little bit because that carbonation isn't there. It, it doesn't give it that brightness that you would expect out of a Trapel. Um but it's just something that I, I do like. I do like this. Let's see what it says. 
Balance uh, derived from whole flower hops created from water drawn deep within the bubble, blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, flavor driven by faithful dedication to excess. All brought to life from the yeast of a holy place. Great beer that is written that does not need to be solved. Riddle. The great, uh, great beer is a riddle that does not need to be solved. Bottle fermentation. Store. Cool and upright. Keep in a peak condition to avoid disturbing natural yeast sediment. Sister beer. The sister beer to this is the Steel Wheels ESB. Uh, unfortunately, they're not really telling me any kind of like if it's supposed to be super carbonated or not carbonated. But. Get into it a little bit more. I know this is kind of a bland review because I just, I'm kind of perplexed by this. Even though it has a little age on it. Whoop, there's some caramel around. Big, big, bold caramel. A little bit of vanilla actually came out of that one, too. Mixing in. This is nice. I like this. This because this is my kind of flavors that I like without the bombarding carbonation, as I said again. Try to keep it under under a mil uh, half an hour long. Super smooth, easy to drink. No no offensive flavors whatsoever going on with this beer. Um, sweet caramels, those cereal grains, a little bit of hay, just a little note of that kind of stuff. Definitely has a soft peppery note. Those hops have died down. Those pepperiness that they have died down a little bit. Left with a soft earthiness, no, no real bitterness, a little banana, twinge of some lemon in there. I like it. It's not, it's not blowing me away. Um, I'm going to give it, for me, probably going to give it because of what's going on. I think there might be something wrong with this bottle. I'm going to swing it up to an 8. I'm going to swing it up today. I was going to give it a 7.5, but I am enjoying this because I like that those caramel notes that I'm getting out of soft vanilla. So I'm going to swing it up to an 8. By the by, letting you know, older bottle might be a little off. If you have a fresh bottle and you find something a little bit different with it, let me know. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.